the military parade of the three services of the Korean People's Army, the Korean People's Security Forces, the Worker Peasant Red Guards, and the Young Red Guards was held in Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, on April the 25th to mark the 75th anniversary of the founding of the Korean People's Army. Kim Jong-il, Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army, mounted the platform of Kim Il-sung Square.
General Kim gyuk Chief of the General Staff of the Korean People's Army, delivered a speech. 조선인민군 육해 공군 장병들과 인민정부대 장병들, 노농저기대와 붉은 청년 군의대 대원들, 평양 시민 여러분, 동지들과 버티... In the speech, he stressed that the military parade would be an important event in further burnishing the great exploits of President Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il in army building and in demonstrating the majestic appearance of the armed forces within and without. Sozonimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
The Revolutionary Armed Forces of Korea proclaimed its birth on April the 25th, 1932. Kalamdan Parade reminded the spectators of the glorious history of the Korean People's Army that has won victory after victory under the banner of Sungun Revolution. It is a great honor for the Korean People's Army to have recorded only victories in its annals in loyal support of President Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. The heroic armed forces defeated the U.S. and Japanese imperialists in one generation under the leadership of President Kim Il-sung. Today, the Korean People's Army has been further strengthened under Kim Jong-il's Sungun politics. The Korean People's Army looks back upon the scores of years of Kim Jong-il's leadership of the Sungun Revolution, which started in the 1960s. In the days of the arduous march and forced march tour, Kim Jong-il regarded the Korean People's Army as the main pillar in defending socialism of Korea. Thanks to his energetic Sungun leadership, the Korean People's Army has won victory after victory in the showdown with the enemy.
columns of the Korean People's Army, which has developed into an army strong in idea and faith, an elite force, which enjoys an invincible military and technological might, march in full spirit. To share the Supreme Commander's ideas, will and destiny, and remain faithful to his Sungan-based leadership, is a firm determination of the Korean People's Army. of guard units display their pride in the imperishable distinguished service and merit. As long as it has the heroic Korean People's Army, Socialist career will be safeguarded with honor. The soldiers march full of vigor with the arms of the revolution firmly in their hands to succeed their forerunners who are boundlessly loyal to their motherland and fellow people. The columns of women soldiers of the three services and the parade ground. The women revolutionaries of Korea fully support Kim Jong-il's Sungun policy, carrying for the spirit of the women fighters of the anti-Japanese revolutionary struggle, who are faithful to their commander Kim Il-sung. in final ray with a sense of honor and pride in being soldiers of Supreme Commander Kim Jong-il. The soldiers of the Korean People's Army, the main force of the Korean Revolution, have defended the country and also stood in the van of socialist construction. Brilliant feats will shine forever in the history of Sungun Korea. The soldiers march with a firm determination to defend the revolutionary achievements, the gains of their forerunners.
columns of the worker peasant red guards march through the square, displaying the might of a military power where all the people are under arms. They are fully determined to defend socialism with a rifle in one hand and a hammer or sickle or a pen in the other. Through to the policy of the Workers' Party of Korea on arming all the people, the members of the Worker Peasant Red Guards have taken up the weapons of the revolution, the weapons of the working class. The columns of the Red Youth Girls, the death-defying core of the Workers' Party of Korea, march past the reviewing stand. Their hearts too burn with a firm determination to become human bullets and bombs in defense of Kim Jong-il. These are columns of the revolutionary school students who would steadily carry for the Korean Revolution. Bright and promising is the future of the Korean Revolution as it has the reserves who are growing up to be as loyal to the party and the leader and to the country and revolution as their parents were. Demonstrating the might of the Korean People's Army, the columns of rockets and the square. The revolutionary armed forces of Korea are equipped with a powerful means of attack and defense. Today, Korea is capable of reliably defending the supreme interests of the country and security of the nation in the face of any complicated situation.
A century ago, Korea, a weak country, had to suffer the shame of a ruined nation, but now it defends its sovereignty and is pushing ahead with a socialist cause by dint of its strong armed forces. The military parade demonstrated the firm determination and will of the Korean army and people to consummate a socialist cause without fail, united single-mindedly around their leader Kim Jong Il. The song of the Korean people's faith to follow Kim Jong Il to the end resounds. No imperialist forces in the world will provoke Korea, whose army and people are ready to defend their leader Kim Jong Il united single-heartedly.